Hello everyone, today we will be talking about pharmacotherapy for smoking cessation. Um, I'll put my source in the description below. So there are three main drugs that we can use for aiding people who want to stop smoking. Uh, we should do this, uh, we should give pharmacotherapy with, um, with concurrent behavioral therapy. So not just pharmacotherapy alone. So the three options available are nicotine replacement therapy. Nicotine is actually the addictive substance in cigarette smoke. So you replace the nicotine. And then there's varenicline and there's bupropion. Let's look at this one by one. So for nicotine replacement therapy, there are um, two types of nicotine replacement therapy. Um, there's a long-acting one, which is the nicotine patch, where you stick a patch on your skin and it re releases nicotine into your bloodstream slowly. And then there's a fast-acting, which is the oral form of the nicotine replacement therapy. And this can be in the form of gum, inhaler, mouth spray, lozenge, or oral strip. This is uh, you can give nicotine replacement therapy as a monotherapy, so you give either patch or oral form, or you can give it as a combined form, so you, com you call this combined NRT. R NRT stands for nicotine replacement therapy. So uh, yeah, for combined NRT, you combine the nicotine patch and the oral form. So principles of giving nicotine replacement therapy is that um, there's, if you give the nicotine patch two weeks before quit day, uh, this increases the success rate uh, as compared to if you give the nicotine patch on quit day itself. And also, um, sufficient dose is required to reduce the cravings and with, reduce the withdrawal symptoms and sufficient duration, usually about 8 to 12 weeks. Next, we look at varenicline. Varenicline is actually a partial agonist of the nicotine receptors. So it has the same uh, mechanism of action. So it acts on the nicotine receptors to reduce cravings and also reduce withdrawal symptoms. It's the most effective monotherapy. But even though it is the most effective, the success rate is only about 25 to 30 percent. So one of the best advices, uh, one of the advices that you should give patients is that you should take your failure as a lesson instead of uh, something that holds you back from trying to quit again. Right. Um, side effect includes nausea, which is quite common. It happens in about 30 percent. Uh, but you can uh, try and reduce this by slowly up titrating the dose of varenicline. So slowly give a low dose first, then slowly increase the dose. And also um, advising the patient to take medication with food, which will reduce the side effect. And the usual duration of treatment is about 12 weeks. Next, we look at bupropion. Bupropion has a similar efficacy as nicotine replacement monotherapy. And the side effects, uh, there's a small risk of seizure, about 1 in a 1,000. And contraindications for bupropion is uh, persons with eating disorder or taking monoamine oxidase inhibitors, which is an antidepressant, or a person with a history of seizures, so somebody with epilepsy. Um, so in summary, varenicline is the most effective uh, one and also combination uh, nicotine replacement therapy. So it's the combination of patch and the oral form. These two are the most effective ones. And nicotine replacement monotherapy and bupropion has uh, similar efficacy. I think that's all I have for you. Thank you.